Good evening. The Harvest of Hope Catholic Community welcomes you to the celebration of the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We invite you to fully participate with us following the slides on your screen. Our opening song is Table of Plenty. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Welcome to this Mass. Today, we come to the table of plenty. Where the world sees scarcity, we see abundance. Come. Come to the table. You satisfy hungry hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You satisfy hungry hearts with gifts of finest wheat. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. 
Be present, Lord, to your grateful people, and bless us with your unfailing kindness. Since you give us life and purpose, continue to supply us with all that we need to be faithful to you, so that we may keep intact the gifts you have shared with us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, Come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without pain and without cost, drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord feeds us and answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us and answers all our needs. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I will bless your name forever. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? 
will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword. No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. And when he disembarked, he saw a vast crowd. His heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the village and buy food for themselves. He said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. He said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowd to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's readings teach us um, that with faith, we see the world differently. Where the world sees scarcity, there's not enough. With faith, we can see that there's an abundance for water and food. So, Today's readings are uh, a rich example of God's providence in the world. So these hungers for food and water have multiple meanings and layers. They are complex, 
and I want to look at three different levels. The first are hunger and thirst on a physical level. Secondly, a psychological level are hunger and thirst. And then thirdly, are spiritual hungers. The obvious takeaway from the first, or from the gospel reading where Jesus feeds 5,000 people, and he tells the disciples, you give them something to eat. At first they see scarcity, we don't have enough. But Jesus shows them the way by asking God's blessing on what they have, and as they shared it, the paradox was that there was an abundance and there was food left over. So Jesus teaches us with the eyes of faith, uh, we can see abundance and not be afraid to share. It is a scandal in our world that there are so many hungry people. Even in our country, in our community, there are those who are physically uh, hungry and hunger for uh, food. For us Christians who see an abundance uh, because of God's blessings in our lives, it is a call for us to action for us to donate to our local food shelves and also help and support programs that feed the hungry. So Jesus comes not to feed just the physical needs, but also our psychological needs. Uh, for the last a uh, number of decades, there's been a growing epidemic of loneliness in our country. There's a variety of reasons for that. Uh, people's lack of sense of community, um, isolation uh, from one another, not knowing who your neighbor is. There's been an uh, epidemic of loneliness where people try to take care of that by alcohol, drug abuse, opioid abuse, and the tragic uh, increase in the number of people committing suicide because they don't feel that there's anyone who understands them or who is a friend to them. So Christ came for us to have life and to have it in abundance. Um, to solve problems, the hunger for uh, friendship and to abate the loneliness that young people and old people alike feel, uh, we have to be able to name it. And yet there seems to be a shame to say, I'm feeling lonely, so we don't talk about it. We don't do anything about it. And then the loneliness gets worse. So we need to unmask loneliness as a real problem in our community. Uh, just as when we have hunger or thirst pains, it tells us to eat something, Loneliness can tell us we have need for human companionship, for us to reach out to others. There's no shame in being human and needing others in our lives. And lastly, uh, a spiritual hunger. St. Augustine teaches us that our hearts are restless until they rest in God. That all these hungers for food, for companionship and friendship, are really based in this hunger for God in our lives. It is a holy longing 
that God gives us. So, the paradox of uh, the gospel is that the disciples saw scarcity, they didn't have enough, but in reality, with God's blessing, there was an abundance. So, let us today see uh, with the eyes of faith, not scarcity, but abundance. And as we are able to share our food with the hungry, uh, to support and encourage programs that feed the hungry, for those who are psychologically hungry or lonely, or if you yourself are hungry or lonely, the paradox, if you're lonely, reach out to somebody. Uh, it takes a risk, uh, but reach out to be a friend because there are many other lonely people just like you. And lastly, our spiritual hunger, our restlessness, can only be filled and satisfied in our relationship with God. If we are restless, hungry, come to God, come to the waters, come to the table. Today, uh, Jesus promises us uh, that he will satisfy our hungry hearts. With faith, uh, we see an abundance, not a scarcity. Let us not be afraid to share our food, our friendship, and put our trust in God today. Let us profess our faith and our God who gives in abundance. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Let us call upon the Lord, who is near to us in every need. For all who preach the word of God in word and action, may they boldly proclaim the never-failing, never-ending love of our Creator. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who lead our nation and communities, may they keep the needs of the vulnerable and oppressed in mind as they shape public policy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from hunger, illness, and injustice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an answer to the prayers on our live stream, bulletin, Facebook pages, and in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that all gathered within the harvest of hope, may we never cease to hunger and thirst for righteousness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, multiply your blessing upon us as your Son multiplied the loaves and fishes. Praise and thanksgiving be yours, now and always, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So I want to remind you that your financial contribution to the parish is still very much needed, so you can do that by online giving uh, or electronic giving, or you can mail in or drop off your contribution at the parish office. Thank you for your continued financial support of the parish. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O Lord, make holy these gifts, receive them as an offering in spirit and in truth, and make of us an everlasting gift to you. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies, faithful God. You have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for the poor, for the sick, and for sinners. He became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced the world to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit 
to make holy these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the offering of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Donald our Bishop, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire us with words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Help us to serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her unity and peace in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Please share a sign of peace with those around you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the hunger of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh, uh -huh. 
we pray. Lord, surround, Lord, surround with your constant protection the people you have renewed by this Eucharist and in your never-failing care for us, make us co-heirs to eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us on uh, Mass for this weekend. Uh, and may you have a blessed week and grow in love and charity for your family and all. We conclude with a blessing at the end of these short phrases, if you would say, Amen. May the Lord bless and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve our God. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh.